Hey there, nice to see you hop in here and try out our slot machine. I'm going to show you how you can install it very fast and easy. As you can see right here, this is the ManyChat App Store. It will show you a link like this one, install app. And when you click that link, it will take you to a page like this one. So here I selected my choice, you can just go to app settings, and click this button. This will show you some basic information that you can add. This is my bogus API key. And if you do not have an account or a license key from chattemplates.com, you could just put in slot 50 and you have the ability to test it for free at least 50 times so there's no reason not to give it a go click save and as you can see you now have the extra app installed now we go to the demo flow that's included in the manual i suggest you use that one so um, you have some basic understanding of what it could look like and build your own a template or flow or uh, whatever it is from there I'll just go there now and show you what that looks like this is um, the exact flow from the description I will show you really quick what it will do the first condition will check if somebody has ran the slot machine yet if they did we we'll just check their score zero is they had nothing uh, matching and all the other variations are in our written manual you can see um, how many points they get for matching slots so that's really easy just you can just um, pick one out of these seven different slots so those calculations will vary from 3 to 21 and you can reward your uh, subscribers accordingly from there you go to this um, well just this little note that says they won something and you can just of course go from there if they did not uh, use it yet you go to the start of this slot machine game and what that will do is I will show you here it will run the slot machine action which you can add by adding this action click to add an action go to the actions right here scroll all the way to the bottom if you just installed this slot machine app click slot machine click select action like this and here you can enter all your settings we will go through these but we will do that in our already installed action which is right here so this will create a unique web view URL which you will then call in this next section and as you can see our custom field is called slot machine web view URL it's always a good thing to give it a descriptive name so you know which is what for so I will show you these settings right now go there the amount of credits I will show you a demo on the lower right side right now I will just enlarge it a little bit so you know what it will look like in the end okay this the number of credits that will mean how many tries do you want to give your subscriber as you can see in this video right here it uh, starts spinning and there's a one between the brackets that means there's only one try left so if you 
want to put in a whole lot down there, just put 15 or do 10 to just give them at least a couple of tries. The theme background, do you want a dark, which is black, or light, which is white background? Or do you want to just randomize it between black or white? This video on the right side is the default one. You can also pick Italian restaurant and then it will just slide between pizzas, pastas, limoncello and stuff like that. It's um, a pretty fun and we have a lot more of these uh, various niches coming. So stay tuned. Then the tag name, you can select a tag name for your own uh, flow or just use the default one that is included in this um, template or flow, demo flow, whatever you want to call it. And this is used to check if somebody has already tried it. And you can then reset it every 20 hours or so and just send people a message so they can retry. And it's a good way to keep them um, engaged in your chatbot. Then the flow that your user or your subscriber will go to once the spinning is finished. You can see it in the demo on the right. Let's wait for it. No luck today. As you can see, now it's going back into your chat flow. Here we go. And this is actually the same flow as we're in right now. And you can just type in these last digits that you see in your address bar on top of your browser. So it will then automatically look up this flow. Or if you want to make it difficult, you can just try your own different flow. Then the response mapping, we create a web view URL, like I said, and you can just map that to your own custom user field. I suggest just keeping it the same, but um, if you want to try it, of course, you're free to do so. Just save your settings and you are basically just good to go. So I hope this helped you out a bit. And if you have any questions or suggestions or do you want um, slots that match your business or your client's business, let us know and we will be happy to create one. Okay, thank you, bye bye.